Well, for months, News 6 and the nation has followed the journey of astronauts Bob Bankin and Doug Hurley. First, their preparations for the Crew Dragon launch. Then, the pair's historic crewed launch from the Space Coast in May. Their time on board the International Space Station. And then finally, their splashdown return to Earth on Sunday. Now that pair of American heroes is speaking about their historic journey into space from U.S. soil and back again, and if they think the capsule passed the test. That's right. Bob and Doug just finished speaking about half an hour ago. New 60's Eric Monenkin is live on the Space Coast with what they had to say. And Eric, we have to remember this was a test mission. So did that new capsule pass the test? with flying colors, Lisa, I think it's safe to say. I mean, Bob and Doug were really, really impressed. They used the word flawless to describe the mission from start to finish. Yes, they see a few things inside the capsule could be improved for comfort and efficiency, but bottom line, they say, they believe this capsule is absolutely ready to start flying astronauts regularly from the space. You know, one minute you're bobbing in the Gulf of Mexico and, you know, less than two days later, you're in a news conference. So the last few days have been a blur for Bob and Doug, they said, especially the moments leading up to the splashdown on Sunday off the Florida Panhandle. All the separation events from the trunk separation through the parachute firings were very much like getting uh, hit in the back of the chair with a baseball bat, you know, just a crack and then uh, you'd get a, some sort of a motion associated with that. You the scorching on the capsule came from the 3,000 degree re-entry heat as Bob and Doug blasted back through the Earth's atmosphere. They described the sounds they heard as animal-like outside the capsule, but it was all normal, surprisingly normal, exactly what they trained for, in fact. I personally expected there to be more, you know, certainly not issues with the vehicle, but some challenges or some things that were maybe not quite what we expected. Since this was officially a demonstration mission, NASA will look at all of the data from launch on the Space Coast to landing off the Emerald Coast of Florida before they will certify the Dragon crew capsule for regular crewed missions starting as soon as September. But if you ask Bob and Doug. Well, for, but from a crew uh, perspective, uh, I think that it's uh, definitely ready to go. And somebody also asked Bob and Doug about all of those boaters that swarmed the capsule when it splashed down on Sunday. They said they couldn't see through the windows, so they didn't know about it until afterwards. But yes, they agreed with NASA and SpaceX that it was dangerous and could have been a really bad idea and something needs to change. Because remember, they said the reason that they couldn't get out of this capsule immediately and had to wait for about 20 minutes is because of the dangerous chemicals that were still lingering outside the capsule at the time. We're live in Titusville, Eric Von Aiken getting results, News 6.